You want to flood it? Last ship hot tip you gave me, sent me back a week's wages, baby. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Straight. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. <laughs> As it's cyber life thought everything, huh? Here you go. that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. <laughs> See? Enjoy your meal. Thank you. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. Hmm. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> this morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I... And I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids. 
which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. <laughs> so what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with Personal issues is an added challenge, but adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <laughs> I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. The brownie pumps there, huh? Hey, Connor! You ran out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. <laughs> hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. Hmm. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise... We're gonna need more cops. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. So we can see what the fuck is this? Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. Fake ID, huh? The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. We need a jacket. Okay. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Here's for his birds. <sighs> I need some fresh air. Okay, another one of 
Maurice. RA9. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Ah, Jesus, I hate <laughs> these things.
We had it! Fuck! It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing. <laughs> it's gonna say thanks, huh? Hey, Pank. Well, most people say thank you. Okay. Fun. This Jericho thing is all about them. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. Hey, so we can be free. Find Jericho. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Few succeed. Humans have little pity for our kind. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Direct. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Why I would do that is a good question, though. Shake by my. I died 
the Gnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No. I don't want to shut down. Actually, if I talk to him, I want to explore first. streets before we brought them here they'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them to help them we need blue blood and bio components we salvage what we can from those who shut down but there's never enough so how do they survive they won't we're slowly dying out Cyber life, huh? Have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Okay, that's... Are you Lucy? Sit down. Uh. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding.
drink this? Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in the Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in. Ooh. I go and steal some stuff, huh? Marcus hatched a plan. Who are we playing now? Then? You're gonna be okay. We'll get some help here. As soon as we'll all be just a bad memory. This is the address that we got now. This is the place. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Be shy.
Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please, make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Mm. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. Um, I don't trust this. I don't like this place. Mm -hmm. And that man. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. Excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. This way, please. On the escape route, I assume. Uh oh. If you could just stand over there. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, but people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just 
reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No, I, I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. <laughs> dream it always ends up the same way tears and disillusionment believe me you're better off being erased and feeling nothing no more pain no more hopes dashed almost empty nothing we can do Kara! <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> you bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Meet me in the living room. Look what he 
you did to us. Yes, Lako. We should be done here in ten minutes. Minutes or so. We'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slako. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. Set. Okay, there was no more rooms from here, and then she's upstairs somewhere down. For a little girl. Have you seen her? A little girl? No, no, no. I haven't seen her. Will you be quiet if I let go? Yes, yes. I promise to be quiet. Don't turn me off. No. No, of course not. Where we came from? Yeah. Huh. But we can't go in there, I guess.
Detroit residents were disturbed by a surprising chase through the city streets this morning. According to... There, you sneaky bitch. Show yourself. Get a flashlight. There's one on the table. Come on, show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I only want to talk with you. I know I shouldn't have erased your memory, okay? I regret that now. And just come on out, and everything will be all right. I'll help you. Think about that little girl, how, how, how scared she must be. Just be reasonable. Come out and everything will be all right. Did you find them? No, it's not cool. it's still good. Well then, get moving, you big idiot. I want them back, you hear me? I'm gonna make you pay for this, you bitch.
I warned you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How Ooh. dare you? How dare you? What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! I saw the little one risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I knew someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. I was so scared of losing you. That was a bit of a surprise. Okay, Cape to Manor. Most people. Leaving hides, hiding spot 2%. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. A pity you didn't manage to capture it. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? It was fascinated by birds. We've seen deviants interested in other life forms, like insects or pets. But nothing like this. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. 
He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Jeez, and how can we have said that long? Every time you talk to her, it goes down, down, down. Step out. I refuse. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Lieutenant Anderson! <laughs> Easy, dog. I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm here to save your owner. <laughs> Okay, buddy. Drinking too much on. Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. Uh, come on, <clears throat> slap it. It's me, Connor. <laughs> I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! I'll have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the <laughs> fuck out of here! <laughs> Sumo! Attack! Good <laughs> job. 
Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, <laughs> oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, <laughs> Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? <laughs> Maybe you should drop the case. They'll assign someone else, and I can focus on my mission. Your goddamn mission, that's all you care about, huh? Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown? Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Uh, okay. Hey, streaky. <laughs> and whatever. Lieutenant. <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, <laughs> give me five minutes, okay? Sure. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech Lovely. to Congress today, where she demanded that all Russian troops with from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Many experts are the that the specter mm -hmm. of a third world war draws closer every day. for me, let's see. Autumn Blues. Hmm. 
like the death metal he listened to in the car then. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. <laughs> Russian roulette, huh? Tainted love. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, just do the spare parts, huh? Catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts in the blue blood. Follow me. Is 
Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Hmm. What are you doing? I told you to... Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. Yes, grab and hide would have been the best choice. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back. It's too dangerous. I'm sorry. You can't come with us. I helped you! It's not fair. 
I helped you and now you're just gonna leave without me? You're no better than humans! You're no better than humans! He triggered the alarm. Run! Over the fence, quick! You are committing a class three offense. This infraction is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. Yeah, I can't trust him. My god. We have blue blood and bio components. There will be enough for everyone. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Jericho's hero. Group return with full bags. Oh. Oh, fuck. oh, people accepted him, huh? But we didn't. He didn't trust him. Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. <laughs> Jesus. Sexiest androids in town. And I know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. in an asshole, just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson is plastic pet. What the fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh yeah? 
Why are you wasting your time? There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. You're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. some questions. Are you able to speak? Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. And... Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. What else do you remember? Hurry, we don't have much time. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't... I don't know. I can't remember. What, what do you mean? Were you alone have... in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. Where did the other android go? Did it say anything? Okay. Two of them. So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything.
TV in here, huh? <laughs> no way. Okay. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. <laughs> Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Expense account. It saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to... Let's try this one. That's better be... Tracy, I know it. Which way it went? Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direct. Action hmm. it took. I just need to find another android on its path. This one first.
Nothing. Blue haired Tracy didn't come this way. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here. Okay, how the heck was I gonna get R2 that way? Nothing to do with any of this. When that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. 
my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans, the smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you've, you've taken her away from me. I love her. I loved her. Like this, better. What would have? Other shows would have. What would have happened? 